So what you're seeing here is a mouse watching a movie. And what we want to be able to do is to reconstruct what that animal is seeing. And that's exactly what we could do with our new deep learning algorithm called Zebra. According to a report published in the Nature Neuroscience Journal, scientists at the University of Texas have developed a custom-trained GPT AI model that can convert human thoughts into text without the need for brain implants. This study is a huge leap forward in the field of AI and neuroscience, and it has the potential to revolutionize the way we communicate. The researchers recorded 16 hours of brain activity from three human subjects as they listened to narrative stories. The AI model was able to decode the brain activity and translate it into text with an accuracy of up to 82% in decoding perceived speech and 41 to 74% in decoding imagined speech. While the accuracy in interpreting silent movies ranged from 21 to 45%, this is still an impressive feat for a non-invasive method. Zebra allows us to take neural data from the brain, the visual cortex of these mice, and train a deep learning model that allows us to then decode what the animal is actually watching. So roughly 10 years ago, we were at the point where we could decode very simple shapes from the brains of animals or humans. But now we're at the point where we can decode literally movie frames, which has never been done before. So when humans, or even mice, watch this movie, what is happening is that millions of neurons in their brain is firing in response to the different properties of this video, whether it's the objects, the color, the texture, or even the emotions that are invoked in you in watching and understanding this. And so what we need to be able to do is given we can only record from a small part of the brain at any one given time, is to build this deep learning model that actually represents all of these abstract spaces, these so-called hidden latent dynamics in the brain. The possibilities for this technology are endless. It could be used to help people who are physically incapable of expressing themselves, and it could have a significant impact on the medical industry. However, the scientists warn that mental privacy should be respected when developing brain-computer interfaces, and the voluntary cooperation of human subjects is necessary for the technology to function. There are also concerns around possible misuse, such as government or employer surveillance. This study is just the beginning of what could be a major breakthrough in the world of AI and neuroscience. We can't wait to see how this technology evolves and the impact it could have on our lives. What do you think about this study? Let me know in the comments below.